The heat of free agents is threatening the Miami Dolphins. Inbound and outbound signings leave us ambiguous about Dolphins roster in 2021. And it may be confusing you, like me, with some decisions. Then let's put them aside. I'm here to remind you not to forget, this is not the last day of the move. That is just the beginning. And what's important always surprises you at the last minute. The Dolphins' big goals, I mean, the big potential targets are already very close to Florida. This is not a Flores manifesto, but this is how Tua Tungavailoa's talent leaves us feeling overwhelmed. All potential signings are showing a cuddly look towards Tua and Dolphins. Teammates just joined the Dolphins and even the teammates who left the Dolphins in tears, cannot deny Tua Tungavailoa's talent. So why are you still in doubt? The latest of these goals, Devonta Smith has made a strong quote to Tua, which is sure to get you to dismiss any doubts about him, including his pin of Tua to McJones. It was true, and only waiting for Flores is not. Will 2021 be a year of reunification for Tua Tungavailoa with former teammates? After Foster come, and then would it be Smith? Who will be coming to the Dolphins in the 3rd and 18th picks at the 2021 NFL Draft? What are old and new teammates saying about Dolphins and Tua? Be patient, be confident and confess your faith, true Dolphins fans. Fins up, a reunion with Devonta Smith and Tua Tungavailoa in Miami would be an Alabama football fan's dream come true. Although they all haven't been teammates for years, Devonta Smith still keeps in touch with his two former quarterbacks. We talked, more just about in football and general and life things, Smith said on Tungavailoa. It's bigger than just football with us. It maybe doesn't matter which team calls his name in the 2021 NFL Draft, cause Smith just wants to play on Sunday. It will be a blessing just to hear any team call my name, Smith said Monday during a media availability. Smith, Alabama's all-time leading receiver and the 2020 Heisman Trophy winner, is among the top prospects for the draft on April 30th in Cleveland. He's gotten a strong look by the Miami Dolphins, who have the number three overall pick. He's also gotten some attention from the Eagles, who have the number six overall selection. Smith caught passes from Tungavailoa and Hertz during his four-year Alabama, four Alabama career and fared well under both. He also caught passes from Mac Jones, a top NFL prospect for the draft, this past season. Smith recently made headlines when he stated he preferred Jones over Tungavailoa. Despite that, Smith said he would feel comfortable playing for the Dolphins and coach Brian Flores, who was a coach at the Senior Bowl and got a good up-close look at Smith. It was a good experience just to see how the NFL is somewhat and how the playbook is, Smith said of his experience in the Senior Bowl with Flores. Smith has two big sources for how the NFL works with former Crimson Tide teammates and 2020 first-round picks Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs III. We've talked about the things they do on a daily basis and I've been getting a feel for what it's going to be like," Smith said. The Dolphins and Eagles aren't the only teams taking a look at Smith. He's been in and out of meetings with just about every team. For Smith, that's a good thing. It's no different here at Alabama," Smith said. At the end of the day you are just talking football. That's what I do. While. How a former teammate's re-established connection with Tua Tungavailoa. As an undrafted rookie from Alabama, wide receiver Robert Foster caught 25 passes for 511 yards and three touchdowns in the final seven games of his first NFL season for the Buffalo Bills in 2018. In the two seasons since, Foster has caught five passes for 101 yards and no touchdowns. In NFL free agency last week, Foster signed with the Miami Dolphins seeking to re-establish his career, and his connection with quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. Miami was willing to give me the opportunity, Foster said, and they said they just wanted me to contribute and make the best of what has been given, so I'm glad to be here and ready to just contribute as best as I can within all phases of the game. Tungavailoa arrived in Miami last year as the fifth player picked in the NFL draft. The first pass of Tungavailoa's Alabama career went for a 9-yard completion to Foster in a 41-10 victory, completion to Foster in a 41-10 victory over Fresno State on September 9, 2017. The final reception of Foster's Alabama career came on a pass from Tungavailoa for a 5-yard gain in the fourth quarter of a 26-23 overtime victory against Georgia in the CFP National Championship game on January 8, 2018.
In their only season together at Alabama, Tunga Vailoa played as Jalen Hurts' backup and Foster was on a wide receiver's depth chart that included current NFL pass catchers Jerry Judy, Calvin Ridley, Henry Ruggs III and Cam Sims. It was a great experience, Foster said about his season with Tunga Vailoa during an introductory press conference in Miami. Really just excited to re-establish and come back and get back on the road and get back to working with him. Tunga Vailoa backed up Ryan Fitzpatrick early in his rookie season before ascending to the starting job for the Dolphins in 2020. I thought Tua did well, Foster said. We've all got, got room for improvement, and I believe we're all going to grow and try to do better and try to make the best of being a Miami Dolphin. While Tunga Vailoa was breaking into the NFL last year, Foster was battling to stay in. The Bills released him at the end of training camp, but he caught on with the Green Bay Packers practice squad. The Washington football team signed Foster on October 22, and he played in four regular season games in a playoff contest. Foster faces strong competition for a roster spot with the Dolphins. Miami returns wide receivers Devontae Parker, Jakeem Grant and Preston Williams, has multi-position athletes Lynn Bowden Jr. and Malcolm Perry available and also signed wide receiver Will Fuller in free agency. Over the past three seasons, two NFL players with more than 14 receptions have averaged at least 20 yards per catch, Foster with an average of 20.06 yards on 32 receptions and Marvin Hall with an average of 20.34 yards on 35 receptions. Foster also has the ability to contribute on special teams working for him. In his 18 games over the past two seasons, he has been on the field for 241 offensive snaps and 222 special teams plays. They just told me to try to take advantage of every opportunity that's given me, Foster said of Miami's expect- And, maybe some of you do not believe me, but, let listen what Dolphins veteran Fitzpatrick talk about Tua. Quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick may no longer be with the Miami Dolphins, but he remains an advocate for starter Tua Tungavailoa. It's amazing how much criticism and different things have been thrown his way, Fitzpatrick said of Tungavailoa during an appearance on the Ross Tucker Football Podcast on Monday. It's very difficult to play quarterback in the NFL. I think we keep forgetting that fact. The guy was a rookie last year and came in and went 6-3. We have to have a little bit of patience. I think he's going to do great things. Fitzpatrick said two traits of Tunga Vailoa's game that impressed him from their season together as Dolphins quarterbacks were his elite accuracy and ability to throw with anticipation. He's going to learn from last year. He's going to learn through this offseason. He's got some continuity with George Godsey and Eric Studsville as co-offensive coordinators now. He's going to learn where to go with the ball how to eliminate things pre-snap to really unleash that elite accuracy, Fitzpatrick said. And he throws with anticipation, and that is something you don't see a lot with quarterbacks coming from college to the NFL. Fitzpatrick will join his ninth NFL team, looking for another opportunity to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. While his time in Miami has come to an end, it sounds like he'll still keep an eye on Tunga Vailoa from afar in the future. I'm a huge Tua fan. My kids love Tua. Sometimes they play with him on Madden. Sometimes they play with me. But I'm looking forward to big things from him," Fitzpatrick said. I think he's going to do great. Just in terms of being a leader or guys people can follow, he has all those qualities. I think we just need to have a little bit of patience. He was a rookie last year, and he's going to do great things.